This is Sark Track Mark II. The Satellite Antenna Rotator, Controller, and Tracker, by SarkNet, the School Amateur Radio Club Network, at www.sarknet.org. And this is the Sark Track 3D sensor. This video shows how the sensor is calibrated at the factory. The sensor is a 3 axis magnetometer and accelerometer. It measures the magnitude and direction of the Earth's magnetic and gravitational fields. The Earth's gravitational field, points downwards everywhere on the Earth's surface. The Earth's magnetic field, points to magnetic north, with a local magnetic declination, and magnetic inclination. In the southern hemisphere, the Earth's magnetic field points upwards. It points downwards, in the northern hemisphere, and is horizontal, at the equator. Here in Melbourne, Australia, the magnetic field points upwards at an angle of 69 degrees. This is called the magnetic inclination. And, it points 12 degrees east of true north. This is called the magnetic declination. Sark Track has a built-in world magnetic database, and displays this information at your location, on the Sark Track selection page. These angles are important, because Sark Track uses the Earth's magnetic and gravitational fields themselves, to calibrate the scaling and offset of each axis of the sensor. We attach the Sark Track 3D sensor to the center of a non magnetic 3 axis gimbal, facing magnetic north. The sensor has six sides front, rear, left, right, top, and bottom. We need to point each side in the direction of the gravitational field and the magnetic field. There are 12 points in all, and we need to carefully search around each point, while Sark Track collects calibration data. Sark Track beeps while it is collecting data. We have to move it around each point until Sark Track stops beeping. We start the calibration process by pressing the begin button on the Sark Track selection page. We then do a rough calibration, by slowly rotating the sensor around, in two horizontal axes. With the rough calibration complete, we now focus on the 12 calibration points. We point the front side of the sensor to a point halfway between the vertical and our local magnetic inclination, and wait until Sark Track stops beeping. We then point the front side of the sensor vertically. We search around that point until Sark Track stops beeping. Due to heavy filtering while calibration is in process, the data takes a few seconds to settle at each point. Whenever we hear another beep, we stop and concentrate around that point. This is point number one complete. We then point the front side of the sensor to our local magnetic inclination. We search around that point until Sark Track stops beeping. This is point number two complete. 
Next we point the top side of the sensor to a point halfway between the vertical and our local magnetic inclination, and wait until Sark track stops beeping. We then point the top side of the sensor vertically. We search around that point until Sark track stops beeping. This is point number 3 complete. We then point the top side of the sensor to our local magnetic inclination. We search around that point until Sark track stops beeping. This is point number 4 complete. Next we point the rear side of the sensor to a point halfway between the vertical and our local magnetic inclination, and wait until Sark track stops beeping. We then point the rear side of the sensor vertically. We search around that point until Sark track stops beeping. This is point number 5 complete. We then point the rear side of the sensor to our local magnetic inclination. We search around that point until Sark track stops beeping. This is point number 6 complete. Next we point the bottom side of the sensor to a point halfway between the vertical and our local magnetic inclination, and wait until Sark track stops beeping.
We then point the bottom side of the sensor vertically. We search around that point until Sark track stops beeping. This is point number 7 complete. We then point the bottom side of the sensor to our local magnetic inclination. We search around that point until Sark track stops beeping. This is point number 8 complete. Next we point the left side of the sensor to a point halfway between the vertical and our local magnetic inclination, and wait until Sark track stops beeping. We then point the left side of the sensor vertically. We search around that point until Sark track stops beeping. This is point number 9 complete. We then point the left side of the sensor to our local magnetic inclination. We search around that point until Sark track stops beeping.
This is point number 10 complete. Next we point the right side of the sensor to a point halfway between the vertical and our local magnetic inclination, and wait until SARC track stops beeping. We then point the right side of the sensor vertically. We search around that point until SARC track stops beeping. This is point number 11 complete. We then point the right side of the sensor to our local magnetic inclination. We search around that point until SARC track stops beeping. This is point number 12 and the last point in our calibration process complete. We then press the save button on the SARC track selection page. SARC track will use this calibration data every time it powers up. It is not necessary to repeat this calibration process unless the SARC track 3D sensor is changed. This completes this video on calibrating the SARC track Mark II 3D sensor.